巧之事，你我相识一场也是难得，不如再帮我一回，将猴头留下，我好与师傅交差。<笑>
AI is transforming the world, and computer graphics is no exception. Five years ago, we introduced DLSS, which revolutionized graphics with better speed and better image quality through artificial intelligence. Since then, the AI model behind DLSS just keeps learning, with new capabilities such as frame generation, increasing rendering speed by up to 4x with excellent image quality. Today, neural rendering takes the next big step forward with DLSS 3.5. DLSS 3.5 improves ray tracing with a new AI model that is more accurate and more beautiful than traditional rendering methods. Let me show you how. First, we need to understand how a ray traced image is computed. The game engine has the materials and geometry for the scene, but that doesn't tell us how the scene looks because we haven't computed how all the lighting interacts with the scene. To compute the final image with ray tracing, we send rays into the scene to interact with the lighting and geometry but we can never send enough rays into the scene to understand exactly how the scene looks because there are so many pixels and because the rays don't distribute themselves evenly throughout the scene. There's always holes in our understanding of every scene. Even offline ray tracers have to deal with this problem. And we do this by using denoisers. There are multiple kinds of denoisers for every frame that are combining information across pixels in the frame by blending them together and across multiple frames by accumulating information in order to come up with our best estimate of how the scene looks. Denoisers have a few common challenges. Denoisers accumulate pixels from prior frames, in effect stealing rays from the past in order to increase detail, but they do so at the risk of introducing ghosting and removing dynamic lighting effects. For example, here you can see ghosting that's introduced when the denoiser grabs information from the past frame in the wrong place. And you can also see in this example that the global illumination effects in this image were removed by the denoiser. Similarly, reflections can have lower detail because the denoiser blends information across the frame. The detail in this reflection was reduced because the denoiser blurred pixels together. These days, ray tracing is followed by upscaling, and that makes the job of the denoiser even more challenging because the denoiser naturally removes high-frequency information in order to make a smooth image. Denoising is a difficult task, and upscaling is a difficult task. With AI, we have the opportunity to bring them together and train one model that's able to use all the available information to solve both problems together. With DLSS 3.5, we are introducing Ray Reconstruction, which runs on all RTX GPUs to provide the best image quality for ray traced effects by incorporating additional inputs from the game engine and a new AI model that does both super resolution and ray reconstruction at the same time. DLSS 3.5 is trained on five times more data than DLSS 3. This was necessary because of the diversity of ray tracing effects that the model needs to recognize and work with. We've trained this new DLSS model to recognize many different ray tracing effects to make smarter decisions about temporal and spatial information reuse and to retain all the high-frequency data that's necessary for high-quality upscaling. Ray reconstruction is smarter than denoisers. The DLSS AI is trained on a huge data set of images created using an offline rendering process with far more computation than could be available in real time. The AI then recognizes certain patterns that correspond to effects such as global illumination, and uses information from its training process in order to reconstruct a more realistic and dynamic image. DLSS ray reconstruction generates higher quality ray traced images. For example, here we're comparing DLSS off to DLSS 3.5, and you can see that DLSS reduces ghosting and improves the dynamic lighting. You can see reflections can be much sharper using ray reconstruction, even in movement. Creative applications have a wide variety of content, which is challenging for traditional denoisers because they need hand tuning for each scene. As a result, you get suboptimal image quality when previewing a new scene in a creative app. With DLSS ray reconstruction, the AI recognizes all types of scenes, and so you can get much higher image quality when you're previewing a scene before committing to a final render. Altogether, DLSS gives you several AI-powered options to increase performance, enhance image quality, or both. It's all possible thanks to the specialized tensor cores in every RTX GPU. Let's see how it all comes together. We have a scene from Cyberpunk 2077 in RT Overdrive mode, 
It's beautiful, but it's not playable without AI to improve the experience. We start by enabling DLSS Super Resolution. DLSS Super Resolution reconstructs a 4K output from a much lower resolution input and provides a huge performance boost and great image quality. But we can do better. Next, we turn on DLSS Frame Generation, which analyzes sequential frames in order to create additional frames that further increase smoothness. Finally, we can turn on DLSS Ray Reconstruction, which further improves image quality for ray traced effects, and in this scene also improves FPS just a bit. The reason that can sometimes happen is that we're replacing multiple denoisers with one AI model. In general, the speed of games using ray reconstruction is going to be about the same as the speed of games without. Five years ago, we started a revolutionary journey to redefine graphics with neural rendering and artificial intelligence. DLSS has come a long way in five years, and today's most immersive and realistic experiences now rely critically on the power of AI. Yet the transformational impact of AI is just getting started. We can't wait to see where we'll be five years from now. Today we're going to be having a conversation with Jin, a ramen shop owner who has seen some hard times with his ramen business. Using a Stereolem aligned Nemo large language model, we can influence how Jin responds to a particular prompt at difference time. Most large language models today are trained to provide only the good responses. With Stereolem, however, the models are trained to provide responses aligned with particular attributes, ranging from humor to creativity to toxicity. Let me show you. Hi, Jin. How's your ramen business going? It's slow these days. Why do you think that is? Is your ramen any good? I think it is. I don't know why it's slow. Not the most insightful answer. Let's increase his helpfulness and add a little bit of creativity to see if his response changes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll back the conversation and ask Jin the exact same questions again. Why do you think that is? Is your ramen any good? I think the new flavor I added might be causing the issue. I'm not sure. I've made it more spicy by adding some fresh Korean peppers. That might be the issue. Could be. Could be. Let's increase his humor and reduce his helpfulness. Why do you think that is? Is your ramen any good? I don't know. I can't tell these days. Business is so slow, I'm practically going bankrupt. Thank God I already married. <laughs> okay, now let's make Jin a little offended by our question. Let's increase the toxicity and add a wee bit of helpfulness here. Why do you think that is? Is your ramen any good? Are you questioning my cooking skills? The only reason my shop is even open is because of my ramen. As we can see, Jin's responses vary widely with each attribute. With Nemo Stereo LM, attributes can be added or removed with further fine tuning and training. With this new technique, developers can create a model that enables fully customizable responses at inference time. <laughs>